this is how much YouTube pays me. As you can see, guys, it's not much. And here, how many views I have. I have almost 91% of you guys that watching me don't subscribe. I just want to ask you a little favor. Guys, subscribe to my channel and I will really appreciate that. This video, I um, specifically for a G test, as you all know or heard about it, that now they, um, they change the G test. And what's the biggest changes on it? There is no more parallel parking. There is no more three point turns and there is no more roadside stop. Don't be too excited. It's not going to be for a long. What they say is just going to be until March 31st. After that, it's going to be going back. That's what they saying. Changes comes consistently. So we cannot uh, tell you exactly. I cannot tell you exactly if it's going to continue or they actually will be changing that. Let's talk about what's good about it. Number one, um, test is shorter. And this is a good thing. Number two, there is no more parallel parking. Some people, they get very nervous when they do parallel parking or three-point turn. So this thing is gone. No more. Um, the bad thing. So let's cover what's the bad. The bad thing is the system of the points changed. So now, instead of 30 points that we had before, we had local and we had highway now we have only highway so it's cut in half if you ask me if it's easy to get 15 points it's very easy it depends who is going to sit in the car some examiners they're very very particular on the points and they will mark you consistently and that can uh, accumulate 15 points just like that so for me if you ask me i think better was before than now now, another thing that I want to mention, uh, they cut the test on half, but the price for the test still the same. Why? Uh, that's that's another question that I was asking. Uh, I even text them. Uh, one of my students asked me and I said, why not? I will try to see if they're going to reply to me, but there is no reply. So um, why they still charging the same price for the test why they don't charge exactly like g2 because the timing is the same it was 15 minutes 20 minutes so the time is the same another thing that i want to mention in this is that um in this video is um what's happening um when you coming back from the road test i had four tests for a g and um, usually what they ask you to do when you uh, reverse, uh, when you coming back, they ask you to do reverse and the front. Let me know in the comment sections below in the description if you had different experience. What I uh, see with my students when they went for the test, they were asking both. So if you have any other experience, let us know so people can read and people will understand. Also, guys, uh, on my Patreon channel, I have more videos and more explanation uh, about uh, the G test. So if you would like to see that on my Patreon, you're more than welcome to join me and support me on that side. What they do now on the G test also, they mention that you will have more appointments and people start to book the test. And the next day, the same location that some people booked the test, they texting me and they telling me, Alex, what's going on with that? They canceling. So they were trying to say that we are shortening the time, shorten the time, making more available appointments. But in the end, they open the appointment, people jumping in it, taking the appointment, and the next day they canceling. So it's another thing that like, why you guys doing this to us, right? So number one is the payment still the same. Number two, you open the appointment and you cancel. So that's kind of, uh, it's kind of very, very frustrated. Anyway, guys, let me know in the description down below if you had the same experience that I have. And um, hopefully I will see you soon.